Hey, welcome back to Z's Toy Barn. Today we're going to try to get this Corvette out of here running together. We got some exhaust bolts, some uh, mystery parts. We'll open those up in the intake manifold. And this is where Damo cuts to the logo and intro. We did the intro, we left off with the introduction. Thanks to everybody that watched, to the people that actually hit the subscribe button, which is just crazy. We're gonna open these parts up here, make sure they're right. So we got the, the new PVC. PVC. Yeah, PVC, right? No, PCV. Let's try that again. PCV. Yeah, idiot. Uh, we also got new headlight motors for our good old headlights. So, we're gonna have some serious fun pulling them out. It is what it is at this point. Nobody wants to be cruising around in their uh, C5, you know, with their white New Balance, their white socks, their jean shorts, and their uh, Hawaiian T-shirt, and flipping them headlight buttons, and it's just going. No, nobody wants that stuff. So uh, let's see what we got. We're 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 new at this, okay? Don't don't hate us too much. It's trash. Now, why, why? Why do we got to put seven bags, seven boxes, like, just, just get, oh, open it. Just why? More boxes. All right, what these should be, brass, the plastic ones, I'll show you. I just put a brand new one in this not that long ago, and it decided it just wanted to, like, you know, go off to Bora Bora and not work. You know, it is what it is. You'll have that. Whoops. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's compare. Let's compare this very expensive part. Thank God for Napa. This this looking? It's, it's looking, right? It's looking. I don't know. Maybe. Let's take a look. So what we got? Looks like, uh... Yeah. That looks about right. Yeah, all right. So we can just take this one and... So our new one, that hopefully doesn't break on me, needs to run from over here, into there, down through here, and into here. And this... This, uh... Should bolt on. Actually, first things first. Let's clean this pig, because this is, this is just disgusting. We'll, we'll kind of, you know, come in here and gently, gently scrape it away, gently scrape it away. Oh yeah, look at that, nice and clean. Don't worry about this carbon, it's down here. Uh, you know, we'll deal with that in another way. It's called, uh, you know, intake manifold cleaner. You spray it down the trap. And, uh, you know, it cleans the valves. Allegedly. Allegedly. Now. Oh, yeah, look at, oh, it's disgusting. That's just, this, this poor car. My, my friend got it, and he just got a good deal, and it just sat, and it sat. We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to get this line in, this one, get this in. How about, let's, let's talk about this real quick. I, you know, maybe if this thing zoomed. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. Look at all this, like... I, I don't know how well. I, it, it, don't worry, I'll get a better camera, I promise. But you see this here? Can you see where the mark is? This is so much untapped potential in a stock head. Are these 241s? I'm not that familiar with LS engines. Uh, if you are, and these are good heads, and you're yelling at me, well, I'm sorry. I'm more of a old school small block kind of guy, or big block. Chevy wise, forgive me. Okay, just just forgive me now. It is it is what it is. I'm sorry. 
Oh no! All right, so now uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to route this PVC, PVC, nope, PCV. There we go again, being stupid. Engineers. All right, engineers. Engineers should have to work with a mechanic at all times because, like, they, they're not putting this crap together. They're not fixing it. You would think they'd want to save money. You would think, like, you know, if it comes in under warranty for that oil pressure sensor, you got to pull all this crap off. Well, you'd think, you know, they'd want to save money, but no. They make it so convoluted and complicated, they don't want to save no money. You don't make money on warranty work, you lose money. Anyways, I digress, I digress. Let's keep uh, fiddling this in here. We've got new gaskets here. We're gonna go ahead and take this We've got this one, I got a truck intake over there. Truck intake one makes more torque, this makes more peak power. I think it'd be funny to give it back with uh, the truck one on it. Don't think it would fit under the hood, but you know, I'm not gonna make somebody mad. But we're gonna go ahead and pop these suckers out. Just the uh, pocket knife here. Yep, there we go. Oops. Stay in there, Bolt. Pop these suckers out. Get out of here. Go. Yeah. Why is this thing so dang dirty? I don't. I don't get it. I don't get why it's so bloody dirty. It's terrible. We got these new nice uh, Felpro. Oh, what's? Oh, there we go. Yep. Yeah. There's a you know little tab. I don't know. Can you see that? Well, let me zoom in here. A little tab. There's a little tab right here. So, uh, you really can't mess it up. Those ones were, those were had. They were squished to crap. Probably weren't sealing too good. Uh, we were fighting some idle issues with this car. I thought we got them figured out and then, uh, changing that crankcase vent. Clearly, clearly showed me I had a break back there and that was part of my idle issues. It was idling a little high, running a little rough. I mean, you know, you'll, you'll have that. You'll have that here and there. It is what it is. We'll make it. All right. So we're back over here. We got it. Um, yep. Don't forget to pull out your intake blocks. We don't want those anywhere in there. And, and here we go. Now this is going to be one heck of a fight. And why it's one heck of a fight, the old camera stabilizer that we don't have here. Again, one day. So we've got our bracket here. And our bracket sits um, like this, right? We've got our bolt to get down in here. Because this part sits so far back underneath the cow, under here, which I'm sure there's multiple videos saying this, but it is what it is. I really gotta quit saying that. You can't really get these bolts in. It's, it's a pain, so you can't pull them up out. So we're gonna do this as graceful as we can and try to get all the stuff hooked up because we've got our brake booster, our map, and then over here we've got another reference line. I don't know where it goes. I'm not that versed in it. I wouldn't imagine it's for the transmission if this was like a 1980s, possibly even a 1990s, depending on the year. That would be a reference point probably for a kick down solenoid on the transmission, like a 350 turbo 400 or a 
700R, 4L60s and stuff like that, mostly electronic. So I don't know. This should have a, what is this, this an 04, 03? I think it's a 4L60. Could be a 4L80. I don't remember. Yup, here we go. Now, if there's a better way to do this, somebody please, for the love of God, tell me how. Because I would just love to know and understand now, to be fair, when I pulled this off, I may have been a couple adult beverages in, I don't know. It was, it was like two weeks ago. I've been waiting that long for parts, so it's been a part debacle, which apparently is a thing everywhere, waiting on parts. If you're enjoying watching me struggle, like, by all means, uh, continue to watch. Now, I don't remember if I'm going to be able to do that with this one. Because it has been, like I said, a minute or two since we've done this. Oh, you know what? Stay right there. I'm going to show you this cool trick. All right. I learned how to do this on six liter Fords. The Dread 6L, right? To pull heads off while it's still in the truck yes i'm holding zip ties in my hand i'm going to show you how i learned to pull heads off a truck while it was still in there they say it couldn't be done well they may not say that i don't know it, it's time at the time they're like no you gotta pull the engine or pull the cab nah zip ties zip ties at a rescue what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this bolt up to the point where it's almost in the cow, right? We're gonna figure out where that point is. Now I know you really can't see crap because I'm cheap and I'm working on budget camera. We're in the process of getting a new one. If uh, 40 people watch the next video, I'll definitely buy another one. Now you see the zip tie is being a buffer and holding my bolt up. What that's doing is pulling it up so it's not hitting the hole so I can slide this back which is going to be fun because I got to get this brake booster line back here snaked in and on the hose that's back there we'll have to probably get a flashlight for that because the lighting in here is good but it's not that good okay. so now we're going to take our second zip tie we're going to do the same thing figure out about right there is our cow we should be up now by all means if you know this trick whatever it's fine it's exciting for me that I just remembered, you know, if you do enough things, maybe, maybe this will help somebody, I don't know. This would probably help my dad. Oh, oh, I went too, went too bloody low, come on now. All right, other side. Other side. Let's, let's get it going here. And this this stand is just garbage, guys. I'm sorry. Again, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Back to our cow. Figure it out. Zip ties. Oh, bloody zip ties to rescue. These aren't. Oh, shoot. These aren't even good zip ties. These are like swap meat zip ties. Buy it by the bundle. Junk. Would you now look at that? I'll be Murphy. Okay, so here's the here's the problem. We need a flashlight. We've got a couple laying around here. Hopefully they're not dead. Oh, look at that. 
it's not dead. Now we got to get our tube or our crankcase. I can't even bloody see. Huh, good. Great. Well, let's uh, I know, I know, I know. We just, we just had it out, or just had it in. But, like, power breaks, man. That's, that's kind of a thing. Alright, what you didn't see was my battery died. And, uh, we got it together. It is back. That's, that's great. It's in. We're together. All the stuff's in. We're going to cut some zip ties. We're going to lay some stuff in. Trying to put the hood back on by yourself. It coming off's not that bad. It going back on. Whew. Well, we didn't get it done to fire up. That just leaves another room for a little more episode on this Corvette. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. If you watched, if you liked what you see, maybe hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, hit the little bell. It apparently does something cool. Like it. Maybe share it. Whatever have it. Uh, we'll get this done. Probably in the next couple of days. You'll see it. Keep the pedal to the floorboards. Keep the boots to her. We'll catch you on the flip side. See you later.